Okay, so we have here 15 mils of isoamyl alcohol, which is also called isopentyl alcohol. They are the same thing. And we have 20 mils of acetic acid. Cassidy is going to go ahead and add them both together in a 100 mil round bottom flask. We also have 4 mils of sulfuric acid, that's concentrated sulfuric acid, which we will not add until this has been cooling in the ice for five minutes. Yeah, that's right, yep, yeah, that's right. Go ahead and stick it in, and we're going to let that cool for five minutes. So we've had this mixture now cooling for about five minutes. We're now going to go ahead and add the, no, no, let's add it while it's in the ice, please. Cassidy, there we go. So she's gonna go ahead, she's gonna slowly, slowly pour it in. Just a slow pour is all we need here. There we go, that's good. Now give it a bit of a swirl while it's in the ice. Okay, that's good. Now what Cassie's going to do is she's going to wipe off the bottom of the flask first because she doesn't want any water or ice on there when we put it into the mantle. If we have water or ice on the flask, what's going to happen is it's going to short the mantle. And we do not want that to happen, so it's nice and dry. So now Cassie's going to go ahead and stick that flask into the clamp. You'll notice that she's putting the neck of the flask into that clamp. And you don't need to use clips or anything on this because she's going to now put a condenser in there. Let's go ahead and put the condenser in. And I'll zoom out from here and you can see the whole setup. Now the way this is set up is that the bottom, the bottom one is coming in from the faucet. Could you please point to the bottom one? There we go. And the top one is going out into the sink. Now, um, Jen, you can go ahead and turn on the turn on the water here. We don't want Niagara Falls here. We just want a fairly uh, light flow of water. Cassie, would you hold up the exiting tube, please? And we'll just put it in the camera. We'll, we'll see what we're see what we're dealing with. So you can see the kind of flow that we're. Hopefully you can see the kind of flow that we're dealing with here. Yeah, should you lift it up a little bit more please, Cassidy? Yeah, keep it in the sink, but <laughs> I mean keep it, make sure make sure the water's going in the sink, but yeah, you can see it's just a, a fairly light flow of water. Just make sure it stays flowing during the course of the reaction, and then that, that'll be good. Thank you. All right, so now what Cassie's going to do is she's going to go ahead and raise the mantle. You'll notice that the mantle is on a lab jack, and this is important because if something goes wrong during the reaction, we want the ability to be able to take, the, take it away from the heat quickly by lowering the lab jack. But now you can see that we put it right in, so make sure that it goes right into the bottom and that the bottom is touching the bottom of the mantle, which it is, right? So what uh, Cassie's going to do now, she's going to turn it on to 10, so all the way, and then once it starts boiling, she will turn it down to 2. The other thing that's in that flask that I didn't say are boiling chips. Now, boiling chips... Boiling chips look like this. And they are bits of, in this case, Teflon that allow for smooth boiling of the solution. So without those boiling stones, it's possible that there could be bumping, which means very large bubbles forming and then ex possibly exploding out of the container, which is not what we want. So this is now going to sit for how long? One hour. One hour. That's right. So we'll sit for one hour and uh, let the reaction occur. Right, so this has been heating for an hour now. We're going to let it cool. So uh, go ahead, Cassidy, and, and take it, turn it, turn it off, and lower it. And what she's also going to do is, once she's lowered it, she's going to take it right away from the liquid and put it off to the side. There we go. 
Now you'll notice in front of her, she's got a beaker with uh, about 100 mils of ice, which is about 50 grams. She's going to wait for that to stop boiling, which it looks like it has. So let's go ahead and take it off. We'll take... You'll notice she didn't turn off the water yet, and that's, that's fine. So go ahead and just take off the clamp. Sorry, not the clamp, the uh, condenser. There we go. And she'll lay it down gently somewhere else. It's good. Now what she's going to do is just go ahead and use the whole clamp set up there. There we go. And she's going to detach that clamp from there and then go ahead and pour it in. Which I'll zoom in on this now. And then she's going to use some water now to rinse that out. So she's got, what, 10 mils of water? Five. Five mils of water, okay. Five mils of water. She's going to rinse out the flask. And pour it in. Now, so this was a mixture of, this was a mixture of ice and now the reaction solution. And you'll notice she's put that, puts that into a cork ring, which is good. And now she's going to go ahead and stir that with a stirring rod. Now the ice doesn't have to melt completely, but chances are it will. You'll notice that it's difficult to see the two layers there, but that's okay because we will we'll get to sort it out when we do the separation part. All right, I think that'll do it. Let's go ahead and pour that into the separatory funnel. I'm gonna bring this over here. Okay, so make sure the, the stopcock is off, which it is, that's good. And there's a beaker underneath, and now Jen's gonna go ahead and pour all of that into the separatory funnel. Now sometimes the ice gets caught in the funnel, and that's all right. There's nothing wrong with that. It's still not going to hurt anything when we do the separation. So we're looking at it now and you can see, and I'm going to zoom in on this, that it's pretty difficult to see any kind of separation occurring at this point. We are expecting to see some kind of layer, but I can't see a layer right now. So what I'm going to ask Jen to do is go ahead and very slowly, slowly uh, start to release the release the bottom part here and we're trying to just take off the bottom layer and she's just got this coming in at a fairly slow rate and we're going to take this down until we can begin to see that second layer which may not be apparent immediately but will be at some point and I'm going to zoom in on this once we get to see that layer so you can see it on the camera. So she's just slowly releasing it right now. And we're hoping to see that second layer pretty soon. Yeah, we're still in the bottom layer right now, which is good. And it'll become apparent close to the very stop. I'll stop it right there. Okay. Okay, good. Stop it there. That's good. Now I'm going to zoom in on that. So now you can see that. Let me, uh, let me make sure this focuses properly here. All right, so you can see. Could you point to the layer, Jen? Right there, yeah. So you can only see it once it gets kind of close to the bottom. So what Jen's going to do now is just very slowly release whatever's remaining there until we get to that very dark top layer. 
And you can see it's very apparent now. That's good. All right, stop there. That's good. All right, so what's the next step? We're going to add sodium carbonate to it. Okay, let's go ahead and add the sodium carbonate. This is where we're going to do the actual separation here. So the sodium carbonate here is she's putting in 25 mils. So look at the, you see how it's, uh, it's bubbling up there? Yeah. So that means you're going to have to be really careful when you're doing the separation because uh, there's going to be a lot of pressure created when we do this. Now, the technique that Jen's going to use is she's going to put that stopper on there, she's going to flip it, and then she's going to, yes, so she did the, uh, she did the venting straight away. Okay, now go ahead and vent again. Yeah. Now, if you don't vent often here, what's going to happen is pressure's going to build up and the stopper will likely pop off and most of your liquid will end up on the floor. But um, she's done a really good job here of venting often and venting early. And it's sounding like it's not doing very much now. So I think that's probably enough. So now what she's going to do is she's going to take this stopper off and she's going to wait for this to, to separate out and make sure that there's no bubbles or anything else on that layer. Make sure we've got a, a pretty straight, pretty straight layer here. How are we looking, Jen? Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Okay. So now she's going to go ahead and release that bottom layer. Okay, that's good. Now she's going to do it again with another 25 mil portion. Most of the acidic portions here should have been pretty much neutralized with the first amount of sodium bicarbonate. So there might not be as much pressure build up this time when we do this. And you'll notice her technique here. She's holding it sort of at an angle. And she's also, could you show how you've got your uh, finger on this, yeah, forefinger on the stopper there? A little bit up, please. There we go. And she's got a forefinger on the stopper there. That, that keeps it in place. That's good, thank you. So yeah, give it a little bit more of a shake. Yeah, and I think that's good enough. I think that's all right. Go ahead and stick that in. And again, she's going to release that bottom layer, which is the aqueous layer. The stuff we want is in the top there. Okay, that's good. So now we're going to add water to it, right? With, the With and and five mils of sodium hydroxide. Oh, sorry, no, five mils of sodium chloride. I'm sorry. Now you can just go ahead and add the water in, and then add the sodium chloride to it. Use a use the funnel. Okay, so that's water going in first. And now five mils of sodium chloride. Now this will aid in the separation, the sodium chloride. This will help it to separate out. So she's going to go ahead and shake that one again. Not too vigorously, but just a little bit. She's going to do the venting as well. This one won't be build up as much pressure. No, I think that ought to do it. There we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to wait for this to separate out. This can take a little bit of time because sometimes it has a tendency to form an emulsion. That's why we use the sodium chloride. You'll notice we're already getting that nice layer on top, but it's not separated yet. You want to wait until all of that brown goes into the top layer. Sometimes taking the stopper off can help too. Let's go ahead and do that. She's taking the stopper off the top there. And that looks like it's pretty much done. It looks like it's pretty much separated. So she's going to now take the take that bottom layer off.
And we're going to end up pouring that top layer into a small Erlenmeyer flask. All right, so we've let this set. We've let this settle out and separate a bit, and, and uh, we can see that Jen has taken off a fair amount of the the water from the bottom here. So now what she's going to do is just get that little last bit of water off because we don't want it, it, there to be any water in the final solution here. There we go. That's good. That'll be that'll work. Now what she's going to do is she's going to pour that into a small Erlenmeyer flask here and we've also got a stopper for that flask as well. Okay, she is using a funnel as well, that's, that's smart. She's going to pour that out of the top and into there. There we go. We can't really rinse it with anything but that's okay. It's going to be a little source of loss but that's alright. Okay, now what I want you to do Jen is I'll, I'll have you take that funnel out. Okay. And now what I'm going to get you to do is add some magnesium sulfate drying agent here. Now the question always is how much do we add? Well, what we'll do is we'll put a yeah, put a spatula in. Yeah, that's good. She's put it just a bit on the end of a spatula here. Now go ahead and give it a swirl. Now what's going to happen is that if you put a small amount in, chances are it will pretty much all stick to the bottom. And I think that's what's happened here, hasn't it? Yes. Yeah, so she's going to have to add a little bit more. Just another, just another one I think would be fine. She's putting a bit more on the end of the spatula. There we go, stick it in. Okay, I'm going to zoom in on this. And I'm going to have you stir, yeah, swirl it. Now I can see I can see bits of magnesium sulfate floating around in that now. That means that you've you've added enough, and now it can now it can settle, and you can put the stopper on, and we can leave it for the next part. a hole.